we'll come back uh, let's look at the uh, improper function how we're gonna go about this one uh, we know the function fs is improper rational function if n is less uh, n is less than or equal to m or m is equal to or greater than n n is the n is a degree or the order of the denominator polynomial and m is the numerator the degree or order of the numerator um, the numerator polynomial right so if the f fs is improper we just first do the long division so we will um, get a, um, a, a quotient and also the remainder. The remainder will become a rational function. And then we will utilize, so you will you may end up with S square or or something like that, or one. So basically we need, when we do the inverse Laplace transform, we will utilize a delta function. We know the Laplace transform or delta function is one, right? And therefore the Laplace transform or delta uh, the uh, first order derivative of delta t is equal to based on the uh, differentiation property that's going to be s times the Laplace transform of the delta t and the minus delta t minus right so that's for uh, that's for the um, the differentiate property so this one here is zero so therefore we get s and you can do this for other high order. So let's see the second order derivative, and that's going to be equal to s times the the um, uh, the delta t s times the Laplace transform of the first order derivative, right? Minus in this case the first order derivative is zero minus. So therefore you get, uh, and by the way here, this is still, again, still zero, and you get uh, S squared. So therefore, when you have the, uh, the inverse Laplace transform of S, so therefore the inverse Laplace transform of one will, will be delta T, right? The inverse Laplace transform of uh, S, the inverse Laplace transform of S would be equal first order derivative of delta T and the, the S square, the inverse Laplace transform are gonna be second order of derivative of delta T, so on and so forth. So it, this is the one thing um, we're gonna utilize when we do the inverse Laplace transform. Let's first example here. And so we have Fs and of course this is improper right this m is 2 and n is equal to 1 this definitely is improper so we can do the long division long division we just write uh, just to do this and s squared plus 3s plus 5 so this is the numerator denominator s plus 2 and the first we'll find s as quotient so we got a s squared plus 2s and then will this minus this and we got a 3s and a plus a 5. So I get a 3, then I get a 3s plus 6, right? So if I, and then I got negative 1 here. So therefore, the uh, fs is going to be equal, based on this, fs is going to be equal, uh, let me see, did I made a mistake? I don't, I do, I think so. It's not right. So here, and s minus two, this should be one. No. So s minus, uh, this should be one. And, and the s plus five. So in this case, it should be one. So this should be minus s plus two, and I get three. So in this case, I should get s plus one plus three over 
is plus 2. Right. So the inverse Laplace transform of t is going to be inverse Laplace transform of fs. And the first term, as we said, that should be delta t, um, the first order derivative, right? that's s plus delta t plus 3 times e2 minus 2t. And we use the uh, s domain translation property. right? And that times uh, ut. So that's it. That's for the first example. Um, let's look at the second example here. The second example here, in this case, uh, again here, this would be m equal to 2, and n is equal to 2. Of course, this is the improper. Right? So to be proper, the n should be greater than m. Okay. So in this case, we do the long division, or if you don't want to do the long division, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, easy enough to look. Just to find this one would be equal to one plus s square plus four s plus three plus two. What I did was just uh, write this five as three plus two. So the first three terms will be the same as numerator denominator, so I can get one. Uh, there. So in this case, I got two, and uh, I can. Uh, and in this case, I got this proper function, but I also need to do the partial fraction expansion. Not as easy as the first one, but uh, let's call this as call this one here as f1 s. So in this case, f1 s is equal to two over. Let's see, uh, this uh, s plus 3 times s plus 1. If we factor this out, and so this has two gain, two uh, roots or two poles, and negative 1 and negative 3. So they have simple poles. And this would have k1 over s plus 3 and plus k2 over s plus 1. So based on some residues, I when I do these calculations, I'll keep an eye on whether I made, I, made, I made any mistake. So in this case, k1 plus k2 should be equal to 0, right? based on the sum of residues, because now m is equal to 0 and is equal to, uh, to 2. So 2 is greater than 0 plus 1. So therefore, in that case, um, uh, in that case, the uh, sum of residues should add up to 0. Let's see to keep this thing in mind as we do uh, the, the uh, residues. So k1 should be s plus 3 times f1s. And we'll evaluate this at this pole, which is negative 3. And that will give me 2 over s plus 1, right? s equal minus 3. So in this case, this should be equal to negative 1. Hope I did this number right. And k2 should be equal to s plus 1 times fs. And we evaluate that this pole, negative 1 here. And we have a 2 over s plus 3. And we evaluate s equal negative 1. So 2 over 2 equal to 1. So 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. So that looks promising. And so we have fs is equal to, now we have, um, we break this into on the, uh, on the quotient. The quotient is 1. And plus the uh, plus s uh, yeah plus s uh, or minus s one over s plus three right and plus k two is one so that's one over s plus one so therefore the inverse Laplace transform of this one here would be f s that's equal f t and that should be equal. The first one is going to be delta t, and the second one here would be using the um, using the uh, estimate translation property. This should be e two minus three t, u t, right? And the, the last one here should be e two uh, e two um, t uh, times e two t uh, times u t minus u t. And I also did this in the uh, in a Google Colab. And 
right, okay. Then my computer kind of getting slow. If I can close this. And so this is the example. Yeah, so this example we did for um for the first for the second example. And unfortunately the the Google Colab, uh, the Python had a difficulty of doing the inverse Laplace transform S and uh, one. So this was the result I got, but it did perfect for um, for the um, um, for the last term. So that's three times e to minus two t and u t. And the first term is the inverse Laplace. I don't know why I haven't figured that out. But if I find a different library to calculate this, I will update this. Uh, the uh, Google Colab notes. Okay, that's about it for the uh, for the first special case when we have the um, improper function. How we deal with that? Just do the long division, right? And then you will get a quotient, and that quotient will be one or s or k or something like that, and then plus a proper rational function, and then you can do the partial fraction expression on that proper rational function. Okay, let's uh, look at the next one. Would be the uh, the multiple poles or the multiple identical poles. See you in a moment.